After pioneering electric vehicles and trucks and revolutionizing space exploration, billionaire businessman Elon Musk looks to focusing on vertical lift electric planes. He stated that he is dying to build electronic super or electric rather supersonic planes that utilize vertical takeoff and landing (VTOL) technology. This should come as absolutely zero surprise given Musk's history of making odd judgments that appear to be too far-fetched to be reasonable at first. He revealed his ambition to join, or rather disrupt, the aeroplane sector in an answer to entrepreneur author Peter H. Diamandis, who had asked his followers what they wanted the Tesla and SpaceX CEO to tackle quote-unquote next. With all this, it's clear that Elon Musk wants an electric plane. When Musk originally mentioned electric automobiles, many people were skeptical of their viability, owing to technological and commercial hurdles. Then there was Tesla. With SpaceX, he also disrupted space exploration by developing reusable rockets. Elon Musk has always had a huge impact on payments, uh, space exploration, and automobiles, and green energy acceptance. What industry would you like him to work in next? My favorite is in aviation. How about you? Diamandis, the XPRIZE Foundation's creator, stated. Musk responded with his electric plane proposal, but he also warned that adding additional work would make my brain explode, quote unquote, using emojis for the final two words. This is not Musk's first time expressing an interest in electric planes. He made a similar comment in July. Previously, Musk stated on Joe Rogan's show in 2018 that he had some amazing ideas for creating electric VTOLs. Tesla CEO Elon Musk has never shied away from a challenge, and increasing the possible product range of Ferris firms is no exception. For years, Tesla's been at the top of the food chain in the electric car industry, tackling the concerns, problems, and challenges that come with producing an electric vehicle. However, there's no denying that there are future projects for him to work on, and electric planes might just be one of them. Musk has been discussing the potential of creating an electric jet at one of Tesla's plants for several years now. However, the business has been so focused on ramping up manufacturing of mass-market electric vehicles that other initiatives have unhappily been sidelined. Even with that said, as Tesla continues to advance the electrification age with each passing day, this isn't to imply that alternative types of sustainable transportation aren't going through Musk's mind. Musk, on the other hand, understands the distinction between desires and necessities. Musk briefly highlighted Tesla's electric plane, and Tesla fans will be able to view it at the company's Gigafactory Texas plant in Austin. Somebody asked Musk about Tesla's plans for an electric airplane during the company's annual shareholder meeting, according to CNET. His response was both hopeful and depressing. On the one hand, he said that battery density improves each year after year. This issue is when Tesla will create an electric plane. The, the sad component of Musk's response is that Tesla is unlikely to produce an electric airplane anytime soon. We have a lot on our plate right now, Musk said in a chuckle. This is both uh, truthful and an understatement. One of the major impediments to electric planes is the battery density. For an electric plane to take off and have an electric range to go any amount of reasonable distance, a denser battery is necessary. The battery density of a Tesla Model 3 is 250 watt hours per kilogram. Musk previously indicated that an electric plane would require a battery with a density of around 400 watt hours per kilogram, or 500 watt hours per kilogram it would be the optimal battery density. Musk also expects that Tesla will eventually achieve 400 watt-hours per kilogram of that battery density. The 500 watt-hour per kilogram value is significant because engineers consider it to be the tipping point for regional electric passenger aircraft. The electrification of airplanes holds a promise of low-carbon, efficient, near-silent air travel. However, various technological obstacles remain in the way of that aim, the most significant of which being the current generation lithium-ion batteries, which are hefty in comparison to the amount of electrical energy they can store. As a result, there is a significant amount of work that might need to be completed, or that will need to be completed, rather. A gasoline tank in an aeroplane is a variety of different safety mechanisms installed inside to make sure that it's not just destroyed. And even if it is, there are methods used to lessen the degree of that damage. However, because the electric plane is still in its early phases, there's insufficient study and certification in order to offer a protection mechanism in the event that the battery fails. It's also far more expensive to frequently inspect the battery for problems than it is to inspect the fuel line in a traditional airplane. Conventional airplanes can also dump fuel if something goes wrong during takeoff or landing to prevent explosion damage, but if the battery takes fire, there ain't no way to get that battery out of the plane and onto the passengers. There's the fact that the airplane isn't allowed to make any stops. The problem for landing and refueling would be uh, a tough one, to say the least. And then you also deal with the issue of weight. The Airbus A380, the world's biggest passenger airliner, can carry 600 people at 15,000 kilometers in a single journey. To maintain this range, an electric plane would require batteries 30 times the weight of its current fuel consumption. 
the plane would struggle to take off with that much weight. The trade-off is even worse for long-distance flights, since fuel accounts for half of the aircraft's weighted takeoff. And furthermore, typical planes become lighter as fuel is burned, but an electric plane must carry that same battery for the duration of the flight. In order for larger planes to maintain their existing ranges, more efficient and lighter batteries have to be created. Musk, on the other hand, is well known for his prodigious output of initiatives and objectives. Musk reaffirmed the need to prioritize other things, you know, than the electric plane, stating, We have quite a few fish to fry here, so maybe one day the electric plane, Musk stated, will be a fun problem to work on. But we've got a lot to do over the next few years, so we can focus on those things, get them right, and then maybe one day do that. Tesla cars are noted for their gorgeous looks, in addition for their exceptional performance, with the Cybertruck being a slight exception, depending on who you are. With this in mind, it begs the question of what a Tesla electric aeroplane might actually look like. According to Inverse, Musk revealed in 2015 that he actually did have a design in mind. He didn't, however, provide any other information. Somebody submitted concept drawings of a probable Tesla electric airplane that resembles a mantra ray in 2020. Musk said, hey, that looks very awesome. Musk has also long desired to construct an electric jet. Musk even mentioned it in a cameo in Iron Man 2, stating, I've got an idea for an electric jet. However, given the need to address the battery density issue as well as other important challenges, it might be a long time before we see a Tesla electric plane flying in the skies. Tesla is also notoriously secretive about project designs and even costs, so there's still a lot of speculation about what the Tesla plane will look like. But we cannot break down some of the probable breakthroughs that will be necessary to develop a plane of that degree of advancement using the existing environment and the aviation sector. Elon Musk said that he and his Tesla team intend to construct a supersonic plane, which would reduce travel time by more than half. Tesla also intends to make the takeoffs more efficient by limiting the runway distance, according to Musk, anyways. So if the plane could generate upward thrust that could be redirected as forward thrust for movement, it could take off like a drone. Because the upward thrust would be distributed among numerous propellers, it might be utilized to reduce takeoff noise. Furthermore, compared to more typical planes, the entirety of the electric plane would go a long way toward addressing issues like construction, maintenance, and fuel expenses. There are further environmental advantages as well. An electric plane would aid in the reduction of the ozone layer damage caused by carbon emissions. There's a grounds to suspect that Tesla's already begun working on an in-house solution, according to various publications. Solar energy, for example, might give that extra power needed to power the Tesla plane, which is the equivalent for adding a backup fuel tank to a traditional plane. Musk has also claimed that in order to speed solutions, he intends to combine Tesla's facilities with SpaceX's aero engineers. This will give the necessary educational materials for an electric plane that no other firm can claim to have. Now that we've arrived at the most crucial section, let's have a look at how Tesla's releasing an electric plane. It, it's difficult to forecast a certain date for the Tesla aircraft, however, technological breakthroughs in the field of electrical solutions, as well as Musk's enthusiasm for the project, can be utilized to estimate when manufacturing will begin. According to extensive study, we should expect to see smaller and more efficient battery over the next three to four years taking a look at Musk's tweet where he confirms the potential. Following that, presuming Tesla at least begins developing a blueprint for the machine, it'll take two to three years of testing and research to develop a viable model. However, that isn't the end of our story, because aviation approvals are still necessary for mass manufacture of aircraft. That would add another one to two years to the timeline, and Tesla would need another year or two to actually market the plane. Furthermore, certain new procedures for electric planes may take a year to develop. To top it all off, we'll have to wait another eight years to see a supersonic electric jet take to the skies. We may also anticipate the aeroplane to have a higher passenger and cargo capacity, as well as just be overall more efficient. We should anticipate Tesla planes to be heavily government approved and supported, so much so that they'll aid nations in their transition to green transportation. In the same way that SpaceX collaborates with NASA, government aviation agencies may work with Tesla to make more flying efficient, productive, and cost effective. But. In terms of pricing, we might have to wait a few more years to get extremely inexpensive flights since Tesla's gonna need to recoup some money it put into their research costs in its early years.